All right, so in this video here, I'm going to be explaining how to use and create custom URI rules. So from within the MemberPress plugin rules page, I'm going to click add new to get started. Once on the rules page, the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to this protected content section and with the drop down, select the bottom option, custom URI. Doing that will reveal this box where you can enter in the custom URI that you're looking to protect. So what this basically is, is if I have some URL on my site that I want to protect, then I could do, for example, the end of that URL here, where normally my, the rest of my site URL would be here. So for example, if my site was this, then you only really need to add this part for the custom URI. Now, one thing that I need to go over and that I want to do now here at the beginning is to specify that custom URI rules cannot use the custom unauthorized messages. So per rule and per post or page, you have this setting or these settings. And here you have the unauthorized message, which you can set to custom if you'd like. Just note that for custom URI rules, this setting does not work. You just won't be able to use it, period. So just leave that as default. What this means is that if you're protecting a custom URI or URL, then MemberPress will send the user to your login page with a little message that says what URL they're unauthorized to access. Um, and give them an opportunity to log in and see your unauthorized message, your default unauthorized message. However, if you're using in your options, the uh, you're redirecting to a specific URL, then it will send the user to this page, meaning that you have more customization over what the user is going to see by editing the content on your unauthorized page. So just make note of that. And I'll show you how this works exactly with a couple of examples. Now, the power of using custom URI rules comes when you want to protect files. So in this example, I'm going to show you how I can protect two PDFs that are found in the same folder by using some simple rejects at, or a regular expression, right? So. I'm using a plugin called Media Library Folders. If you search for this plugin from your Add Plugins page, you can just search for it with that exact name, and it should be this one that pulls up by Max Foundry. Um, we at MemberPress don't endorse or recommend this plugin per se, but it's just one that I'm using for this example for example's sake. Okay. So it creates this media library that allows me to create folders, and if I go into my library here, then you'll see that I have these two files that I want to protect. Clicking on them will reveal my URL, which looks like this. So this is the folder that I created, member files, and then this is the file name of that PDF. Of course, following the standard WordPress um, file path of WP content and then uploads. The benefit of doing this is that when you upload files to the WordPress media library by default, it creates folders based on the day and year that you import it. So that can make it a little less customizable and that's why getting a plugin that can help you create files or folders in your media library makes it a lot easier to protect content. So for example, I have these two files that I want to protect that are in my member files folder that I created with this simple plugin. So I'm going to go back to my rule and what I'm going to do is enter in some a simple reject snippet that will protect all of the content within that folder. Or specifically in this case, I'm protecting all of the PDFs within that folder. 
if you need to protect more than just PDFs, then you can do that by changing out the solid.pdf here for what's outlined in our protecting files documentation page here by doing that. So that would protect all files of PDFs, docs, docsx, or zip files within that folder. But for this example, like I said, I'm just protecting PDFs. So this is the regex that I would use. Note that this is a wild card, so that's why I don't have to enter the additional uh, WP content uploads. But another acceptable example of this would look something like this. So instead, I've got the caret and then the WP content uploads. Again, either or will work, but I'll switch it back to the shorter one for this example. Okay, and then of course, after you've entered in your rejects, you need to make sure that you check that this is a regular expression. And then I'm going to select which membership I want to have access to this content, which in this case example is going to be my gold membership. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that rule. Now let's see what this is going to look like for my users when they try to access my file. So, for example, in my options, I've disabled or I'm not using the redirect unauthorized visitors to a specific URL. So what's going to happen when a user clicks on one of these files? Well, let's just copy over this file and I'll open it up in an incognito window so that you can see what that looks like. So this being an incognito window, of course, um, not logged in. And as you can see, I'm being redirected to the login page on my website. And here's that message that I was uh, mentioning earlier, simply unauthorized for, and then the URL. Now some of our users don't want that to appear. So that's when you can use the unauthorized redirect setting to make it so you have more, or this it just won't show, and you have more customization over what the user actually sees. So let me go back to my website and my options and I'm going to enable this redirect setting here for unauthorized users and then we'll see what happens when I try to access that same file which again I need to do in an incognito window so that's just loading up here and as you can see here I was redirected to the unauthorized page instead of my login page and so I've got a little bit more customization over what that looks like and that unauthorized for part just doesn't show. Okay, so that's a really simple example, um, but it shows you the power of what the MemberPress custom URI rules are capable of doing. Imagine if you have a lot of files that you need to protect um, and you can just simply put them in one folder and then protect the whole entire folder. I would highly, highly encourage you to review our Protecting Files documentation page in our docs.memberpress.com site where you can review all of the technicality aspects of protecting files with more examples and also the technical requirements that are required in order to protect files on your website. Hope this example has been helpful. If you have any other questions regarding how to protect your files or how to use custom URI rules, feel free to let us know. Thank you.